Melissa Reed is one of the most promising talents on the ladies' European tour. Rookie of the Year in 2008, she quickly graduated to multiple tournament winner. In 2010, she finished third on the Order of Merit, before going one better in 2011, finishing runner-up to Ai Miyazato. She heads into 2012 with her eyes firmly fixed on a place on the LPGA Tour, and an invitation to last week's HSBC Women's Champions gave her an opportunity to size up the opposition. Yeah, it's my first trip to, um, to Singapore, so um, yeah, I was very excited to obviously get um, the invite, and uh, it was a great opportunity for me to, to come and play over here, and playing against this kind of field is what, what I obviously want to do, you know, I, I want to play against the best players all the time, and I've played against the girls numerous times before, and you know, obviously playing Solheim against, against the best American girls, so you know, I do feel very comfortable in this kind of environment. 2011 was a big year for the 24-year-old. She posted career wins two and three, which helped her qualify for her first Solheim Cup. <laughs> Playing at Colleen Castle became an unforgettable experience, with the Europeans winning for the first time since 2003. I actually think we had a very, very strong team uh, at Solheim. Like, there was no real weaknesses. Everyone was playing great coming into that week, and, and we just had a very positive vibe in the team room. So we were all very, very excited about playing. And then European golf is getting very strong. Even the European Tour, from when I came on the Tour four years ago, the, the strength and the depth now is, is so much stronger. Her first taste of the Solheim Cup gave Melissa an opportunity to team up with one of her idols, partnering Laura Davies in the four balls. It was an experience she relished, with Laura a big influence on Mel's journey into the professional game. Laura is one of the reasons I took up the game, and to now say that we're, you know, pretty good mates and stuff is, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's great. And, you know, whatever I can learn from Laura, I mean, obviously she's an absolute legend. You know, when you think of women's golf, I mean, she's certainly one of the, one of the women that you think of, and, you know, she's done so much for the game, and, uh, I obviously respect her massively and, um, yeah, I, I definitely pay attention to everything she says to me. The trip to Singapore wasn't all work and no play, as Mel was among ten players asked to take part in a fashion night where the girls got all dressed up and modelled some seriously expensive Tiffany's jewellery. It was an experience that took her some way out of her comfort zone. It was um, absolutely petrified, if I'm honest. It's not really my kind of style, but... Um, got dragged into it by Vicky, my manager. So, um, but yeah, no, it was good. I need to do things like that. Most expensive piece of jewellery is about £7.50. So, um, yeah, it kind of beats it ever so slightly. It's, uh, it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I'd like to run it, but I think these all know what I'm trying to scheme now. I am wearing about four inch heels, so I'm probably not going to run quite as fast as usual. It's probably the most, um, it's something that I lack in confidence with. So you kind of need to face your fears and, um, yeah, but being around Paula and, you know, Natalie, obviously, the glamour girls, and then this little old me, so uh, it was actually a really enjoyable night, like wearing, you know, half a million pounds worth of jewellery is never a bad night, is it? With the party frock put away, Mel was back to where she feels a bit more comfortable, joining Laura Davies on the driving range for a golf clinic in front of some of Singapore's most promising young players. I just think, God, when I was 13, I was, you know, climbing trees and kicking a ball about and occasionally playing golf. But, um, you know, these kids are phenomenal now. I mean, they're getting so young and, I mean, they just, their work ethic is, is, is fantastic and um, they just keep getting younger. I mean, I feel like a, a veteran against all these kids. So, um, this is a great feeling. Helping to foster the next generation of golfers is something that Mel is a strong believer in, and she'll be taking a more active role in that area back in England after her home county asked her to take on a role as an ambassador for Derbyshire Golf. Growing up, Derbyshire Golf was, was a huge part of my life, and um, the support that I got, you know, county stuff, was, was great. So, I mean, any kind of anything that I can give back to to the juniors or the ladies or the guys or whoever, really. Um, you know, I'm more than happy to do. With her new ambitions, her new ambassadorial role, and who knows, maybe a bit more modelling, 2012 is shaping up to be a busy, busy year for Melissa.